the coping mechanism I have, I, I entitled it professionalism or mission first. Again, being a child of a soldier, son of a soldier, you learn that growing up all the time, it's mission first, mission first. And any problems I would have during classes, you know, being a professional, always understanding the situation, always trying to, to move forward. But the mission first, uh, we need to get this education, we need to get this class done. But the mission first, always understanding when you come into my class or when you come into one of my teaching sessions, I try to make it a business first or a, a professional type atmosphere. You know, I, I always tell students one of the things I try and teach them is how to function in a professional atmosphere. That's one of the things we need to teach or we try to teach our young people is how to operate professionally, uh, you know, how to be in a business setting. I also try to lead by example. You know, I can't expect my students to take their education seriously if I don't take teaching them seriously. You know, an example of that I have my first semester also with the floods, I had some hand surgery. Monday, Monday afternoon, I taught my class. Tuesday, I had surgery. Wednesday, I was back in class teaching. You know, I took no time. But my thing was, and as I told them, that was a teachable moment. If I don't take this seriously, they'll never take it seriously. When I tell them to come to class, maybe even if they don't feel like it, here I am, you know, hand in cast, still teaching. You know, so I lead by example. Philosophy I live by is another one from the military. We fight as we train. So what that means is I spend as much time as I can training, as much time as I can talking to my colleagues here at school, at the university, or at the college. I try and learn as much as I can about the art of teaching, you know, the science that goes into teaching, because I know that the amount of prep time and thinking I've put into it will dictate in the end how I act how I respond. So I, I try and, and train as much as I can, you know, try and talk to teachers as much as I can and lean on experiences that the workforce gives me, you know, outside of the school. But understanding that you're, you're always prepping for something, you're always, you're always training. And hopefully you put, you put in the training all that you have so when you need it, it's there. When you need to call up a skill, it's there.